Hey everyone, I'm Miss Mayfield, your new fourth grade teacher for the upcoming school year. A little bit about myself. I grew up here in Anderson, South Carolina. I graduated from Westside High School in 2016, and recently this past May, I graduated from Anderson University with a degree in elementary education. I'm so sad that we are not able to meet for Meet the Teacher Night. That's when I love meeting all my students and meeting the parents. But since we aren't able to have that this year, I do want to show you my room in this video. So let's take a quick little tour. Um, as you can see, all of my desks are in rows and properly distanced the best of my ability. I know if we're not distanced, then I'm comfortable with wearing masks. So if I feel like these desks are not far apart enough, then we'll be wearing our masks throughout the day while I am teaching instruction. Over here, we have our cubbies where they'll hang their book bags and put their own materials or any extra school supplies in their cubbies. Each student will be assigned a number and their number will match their cubby. So no one's things will be mixed up with one another. Everyone should have their own cubby with their own things inside. Here at the front, I have our smart board, actually our new board. And then in these little drawers, I have some extra school supplies in case we run out throughout the year. Here at the back, I have our kidney table where I'll be pulling any small groups. I set out the dots for distance wise, but I still feel like pulling five uh, kids at a time isn't gonna give me enough distance between them. So I probably will pull a smaller number, maybe around three, but we're actually, the school is supplying the plexiglass dividers for us for back here, which I feel more comfortable with. And we will be wearing our mess back here because we will be a little bit closer together. That's just where I'll be pulling any small groups. Here at the back, I have our classroom library where I have numerous of books with many different genres. I hope your student will find interest in them. If not, then they can let me know maybe a certain series or a specific book and I'll be glad to supply that with them back here at the, the classroom library. Also, I have hand sanitizer, disinfecting wipes, and we'll be making sure to clean down our desk every day before we leave. I've been doing that before I leave. Here, since we've been back at the school, making sure that we're staying clean and healthy, we'll be washing our hands um, numerous of times during the day, making sure that we're cleaning them very well. And we will be wearing our masks during the day if we're not properly uh, distanced, whether that be in the classroom, in the hallway, etc. Since we will be wearing our, uh, our mask during the day, I will be incorporating mask breaks for them. I know wearing it all day can be kind of overwhelming, especially if they're not used to wearing one. So I'll be doing that during the day for them so they can take a, take a break, get some fresh air, and then we'll quickly put it back on and be back in our um, rows in the classroom. Outside, we'll be properly distanced from other classes. Um, I have a recess bag for them that they can use. It has different type of equipment and it will be sanitized also every day after we are finished. So we're making sure here at Midway that we're taking very, very um, care of our students, making sure they're staying safe and staying healthy, making sure we're staying clean. Make sure you bring your water bottles because the water fountains will not be on this school year. So I would bring a water bottle to be ready, filled, and have your student's name on it. And if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to email me at jimmymayfield at anderson5.net. If I can't answer your question, I'll find someone that can help me answer it. But I'm super excited to meet you guys September the 8th. I know the year's going to look a little bit different, but I promise I will try my best to make it the best year yet, regardless of the circumstances. Can't wait to see you soon.